Welcome to Skinny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest update coming in from the camp of Ghana Black Princesses. We also speak a little bit about Ministry of Youth and Sports, or I'll say the Minister Mustafa Yusuf and the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. There has been a lot of scandals going on at the moment, and we'll talk about it. And we'll also top it up with some updates from Ghana Under 20, the Ghana Black Satellite, and some other few updates we need to know. In this one, see, we have some interesting stuff going on in the country, and I don't know what is actually going on. According to the Minister, of future sports um, for the African Games 2023, which happened in 2024 March, they paid an excess of $3 million to Ghana Broadcasting Corporation to make sure that they will broadcast it for everyone to enjoy it. And today, response has come from the Director General of um, Ghana Bro Broadcasting Corporation, and we are going to check out what is actually going on. Who is telling us the truth, and where is the excess of the money, if you do your deductions and a whole lot of stuff. Well, we will talk into details about it. Then Ghana, Black Princess, as I said, we will speak about them. They are going to play a game. Then, we will also talk about Ghana Under-20 team, the Ghana Black Satellites. They played two matches today, and we will talk a little bit about it together, with all the latest updates you need to know on this channel. Before then, if you have joined me, take your time and like the video as you do always please if you join us like first after liking if you are new here subscribe to the channel put us on post notification because we have some amazing content coming your way especially ahead of ghana black stars two games in next month and all the details you need to know after that comments share the video after watching and also let's move on from here i also do best to give a lot of shout out to those who commented under the last video um i will do more than half here and i'll also bring you more shout out in my next video so let's do that please share after watching no time to waste let me actually begin from here from yesterday this story has been trending but i wanted to hear from the other side before i talk about it 13th african games which happened as i said this year much but um it was that the 13th african games 2023 and Ghana, we hosted it. I brought you a lot of updates on this channel as well as Oskani TV+. Plus. Ghana did well. We won some good medals, even though the likes of Egypt, South Africa, or Algeria, they were topping it and all. Now, according to the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mustafa Yusuf, Honorable, yesterday he appeared before the Public Account Committee and he was asked about how the TV rights, everything went on because they've heard that some people have not even been paid, those who worked with, you know, broadcasting the games and a whole lot of stuff. And according to him, they paid, the ministry, they paid an excess of $3 million to Ghana Broadcasting Corporation for them to broadcast the African games to the general public to enjoy the games. And I was asking myself a lot of questions because such games, you have to even let the media or let the TV actually come and pay money to you. They have to buy the TV rights before they can broadcast. So if you rather pay money to them, it is something that I cannot fathom it. And on top of it, I even heard that we have over 30 channels or 30 media houses who are ready to buy the right. But according to him, they paid an excess of $3 million. And not that alone. Today, response have actually come from GBC. So before then, let's check out what happened yesterday as Honorable um, Sam George actually interrogated the Minister of Youth and Sports, Mr. Uh, Mustafa Yusuf. And this is what he has to say. After that, we'll check out the response and all the other details we need to know. You had an arrangement with uh, GBC to cover the All-Africa Games, right? Can you share with this committee how much that coverage was was for and whether payment has been made for same? Yes, uh, GBC was the official broadcaster for the African Games, 20, the 13th African Games, and I can confirm that full payment have made made to GBC. Do you, do, can you, do, you, do you have per chance what the amount was? I, don't, I can't recollect the exact amount, but I know that it's in the excess of $3 million US, US dollars. You paid GBC yes. in excess of $3 million US dollars yes. for yes. coverage of the All-Africa Games. Yes. Chairman, I think that I would rest here and maybe the next time GBC appears before us, because most of the technicians who worked on the All-Africa Games have still not been paid. And so we wanted to ascertain if you have paid and how much has been paid. Chairman, I'm grateful. So that is just coming in from Honorable Mustafa Yusuf, the Minister for Youth and Sports in Ghana here. Now, after yesterday, today, according to Unique FM, of which I'm getting some video from GBC, yes, and I'll also show you that video. The GBC um, General, that is talking of um, Director General of GBC, Director General of GBC, his name is Professor Amin Alassan. He has come out to say that no, 
GBC rather received 105,000 US dollars. 105,000 US dollars, but not an excess of $3 million. People are even taking it like it is $3 million. No, the minister said an excess of $3 million. So even if you are taking it that it is $3 million, that means if you deduct 105,000 US dollars, then we have around 285, um, 2,850,000 US dollars to search for that where is that money because according to him they were paid 105,000 us dollars and he also added that he is putting his job on the line let's check out the video after that you will talk more the benefit total payment to gbc's for gbc's benefit i repeat was 105,000 us dollars and that is what we got now, but does GBC have any evidence to back what you're saying? Because, I mean, the minister is the one in charge. He of has course. made a statement. Of course. What, what, what evidence of do course. we have? We definitely have enough documentation. These monies are not paid in banks. They are paid through the bank. And they are indicated what the money is for. And before we do that, there's a letter we will receive from the ministry telling us whose payment it should be for. And so we don't act on our own. We act upon instructions. And that we have all the documentations and we are not, we have everything in, in place to show that these monies. You see, public funds are not easily dispersed like that. GBC needs three million US dollars to do a lot of things. And if we got the three million dollars, we would have gone ahead to start spending on GBC's needs, including procuring an OB van. We didn't get that money. Mm. Yes, so that is just coming in from Professor. I mean, Alassan, according to him, 105,000 US dollars were paid to them. And he can even put his job on the line. They have all the receipts, everything, because such an amount of money will not be paid, you know, in hand or something like that. So, this is what is going on. Who is telling us the truth? Who is lying? And where is the money, the rest of the money? If you are taking 105,000, if what Professor Amin is saying is true, if you are taking that 105,000 US dollars from an excess of $3 million, where is the rest of the money? And it is a big issue at the moment. We have to talk about it because there's been, you know, a lot of scandals in Ghana football and a whole lot of stuff. I do understand this morning, yes, um, GBC or GTV, let me put it that way, they are going to broadcast next season's Ghana Premier League. I understand that for some few years ahead of us, they are going to have the right to broadcast this and they are ready to spend $2 million in five years on the Ghana Premier League. That's just a quick one. But who is telling us the truth? Is it the, um, you know, GBC director that is talking of Professor Ami Alassan or it is the Minister of Youth and Sports? Only time will tell. So the Public Account Committee will have to interrogate. We have to get an audit of whatever that transpired around that time. And that is it. Ghana football, Ghana sports. Where are we going? Well, well, hmm, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Now, let me move away from that because if you want to stay with it, I don't think we are going to move now. Let me talk about the international friendly ahead of the World Cup, which is going to happen in Colombia under 20 FIFA Women's World Cup and Ghana. We've qualified. I've brought you a lot of updates on this channel and I'll continue to bring you more updates. Ghana Blood Princesses, they've already arrived in Bogota, Colombia, and right now they are going to play one match ahead of this particular World Cup and it is going to be against Mexico so we have the El Tricola of Mexico versus the Ghana Black Princesses it is going to happen on 22nd of August 22nd of August exactly 3 30 p.m. which is 20 and um, 30 p.m. GMT yes that is it but look at over there is 3 30 but here it's going to be 8 30 p.m. that is how it is going to be so Ghana we are going to play one friendly match ahead of this World Cup, and I think it is good. Already they played one in Ghana, um, two in Ghana, I beg your pardon, in Cape Coast, where they defeated Hazakas Ladies by some four goals to now. I brought you the highlights on this channel. And before they traveled, they also played one in Accra, where they lost by some three goals to one against boys under 15, yes, from one of the clubs in Volta Region. I brought you that update. So now they are going to play against Mexico, and we will also follow them and bring you more updates as to how we will perform ahead of this particular World Cup. I've brought you the final squad, 21 squad that the coach, you see Bazigi has named in Ghana. We are looking forward to progress to the next stage as our, from the group phase and um, we will see how things open out. So that is it. I also follow them and bring you more updates on this channel. Ghana under 20 this morning, they also played two matches and um, yes, they are preparing themselves for 
the next Wafu Championship that they are going to play. So Coach Desmond Offer and his guys are actually doing everything possible in order for the team to perform well. Today they lost first game against Guan Lu Heart of Lions by a goal to nil. And the second match they also played against Ho United, where Ghana under 20 defeated Ho United by one goal to nil in this particular two friendly matches that they played. And they played at Achimota Park. Achimota Park, yes. So, Black Satellite now, Hearts of Lions won the first game. And game two, Black Satellite won, Hoho United now. And that is that. Unfortunately, we don't have the highlight for you at the moment. So, if I also get it, I'll share it with you for you to enjoy it on this channel. So, guys, these are the few updates. I'll bring you more. Just stick and stay with me because I understand that Blaster Squad have been submitted by coach that is talking of Otuado. So stick and stay with me. I'll bring you all those latest updates on this channel. What are your thoughts on especially the scandal going on? An excess of $3 million paid to GBC. GBC are saying that $105,000 US dollars is what they received. And that is it. Let me give a shout out before I take leave of you. <laughs> Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Shout out going out to Taysam. I appreciate you so much for commenting under the last video. I also have Andrews, um, DJ Optimistic. Thank you. I've seen you. Um, Ghana Ba, you also on this channel. Thank you. Emmanuel Boatin is also on this channel. Mr. Vody, you are also here. Aqua Boy is also on this channel. My United Fees, bro. I've seen you are doing great. Um, then I have Ho Emmanuel YouTube channel. I appreciate you. Thank you. Faisal, you are also on this channel. Thank you. Omari Studios, I've seen you. Dacha Hine is also here. Ion Fanatabi, thank you for being here. Kofi Isaac, you are here. Krobia Asante Dakon is also on this channel. Samuel Kwa is here. Um, Abes Free the Youth, you are also on this channel. Adepa1212 is here. Haruna Mohammed, I appreciate you. Ofori Bruce, you are here. AJ Christopher, you are also on this channel. Isaac Yao, thank you for being here. The most Morris, yes, I really appreciate you the most. You are always on this channel. Then I have Prince Ahinale, thank you. Stefan DK, um, Amora Jonas, and some amazing guys. So I will end it here and continue the rest of the shoutouts in my next video. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe, put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV, and of course, we shall meet later.